So I figured it's been a while since I made a video about like about Topaz Video Enhance AI, which I think is a really good, very, very powerful program if you're into video content and making it look better. So the reason I came up with this video is I was always curious about like the, the processing times between different GPUs, uh, slightly older ones and more advanced RTX uh, models. I chose a GTX 1070, a GTX 1660 Super, 2080 Super, uh, an RTX 2080 Super, and an RTX uh, 3060, which is the newest card that I'm using from, well, I guess, the, the newest generation of NVIDIA cards until the 40 series comes out. So I also want to mention that my, my, my rig, my computer has a 3900X, a Ryzen 3900X, and it has, my computer has 96 gigabytes of 3200 uh, speed RAM. My CPU has more than enough processing power to not have a, not create a bottleneck in the processing, so I don't, any limitation in the processing time is caused by the GPU itself. So to keep it brief, I used, uh, I go into a little more deep detail about my methodology, but I chose a, um, I chose a standard definition clip or 480p and, uh, and converted it up to 1080p. Uh, I did, so I ran it for all four cards in that regard and I also used a 1080p video and converted it to 4K as well. These are short clips and I extrapolated the data to see how long it would take to complete a, a longer clip. And I have, I have charts and everything later in the video that you can check out. The results of this GPU shootout is not very surprising. I've noticed it uh, in practice from using the program that the RTX cards are way faster than the old GTX cards. I remember when I started out using the program, I was using a 1070, the 1070 that's in this video, and uh, I just didn't, uh, it was frustrating. And back then, they've actually made improvements in the, in the efficiency of processing. I think it was in excess of 20 hours to get to process one you know, full length video. Uh, but now it's, as you can see, it's about, You'll see in the data that you know the, the, there have been improvements in efficiency, but it's not. It's still a long time. You know, it still takes a long time to process the video. The efficiency in processing times achieved by RTX cards is dramatic. It's uh, from what I see in the data, you're talking almost three times faster in some cases. But yeah, I hope you find this. Uh, I hope you find this GPU shootout useful, and let me know if you have any questions.
want to go over my results of my experiment here to, in comparing GPUs while processing uh, video through Topaz. For the 480 to 1080 conversion, we got uh, I used an 81 second clip. As you can see, it took 10 minutes, a little over 10 minutes for 1660. 1070 took about nine minutes. Then, then there's a massive jump in performance. When you get to the 3060, it takes a little under four minutes and about three and a half minutes for the 2080 Super. So as you can see, there's a big gulf in performance between GTX and RTX cards. And you know, the 1660 isn't too old. It's a basically, uh, it was released around when the, the 20 series RTX cards were released. So you can see what the difference makes in getting an RTX card uh, since they have those tensor cores which which are leveraged in, in processing. So in this case, I'm just looking at the 480p data. So 480 click going to 10, 1080p. And with the information that I got from the from the times that it, that it took to process the original clips, I was able to extrapolate uh, what it would take for fi uh, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 60 minutes, 90 minutes, and 120 minute clip or, or video or whatever you're doing. Uh, I think this is valuable information because what, from my experience and what I've noticed by, while using Topaz is the processing is very steady. It doesn't matter if you have a very complex scene or a simple scene like that's mostly black. Uh, the processing time doesn't vary very much or at all. So if it's, if it's taking you between a, a 0.8 seconds of frame, then you're, it's very steady. It's, it, do, it doesn't fluctuate. It doesn't go down to 0 0.6, uh, 0.06 seconds of frame um, just because you're doing a simple frame. It's always 0 0.08. It's very steady. So I think this is very valuable. So you, so when you go to a 15 minute clip, you're getting over a hundred minutes uh, to process a 15 minute clip, but it's 41 minutes and 38 minutes uh, respectively. It might be a little easier to visualize to see the, the data in hours. So the 1660 to do a 15 minute clip is 1.87 hours, almost two hours. And when you go to 30, it's almost four. Uh, 60 is almost eight and a whopping for a two hour clip, it would be almost 15 hours to do. Um, and again, you can kind of go through that information here and look at it yourself. If you like things more to look more visual, I made a little chart with gives you the same information. Here's the original clip and there's a legend here for this. So um, this is telling you the clip length and it's, it's organized by GPU. As you can see, uh, you, there's a massive uh, it's basically uh, three times faster once you go to an RTX, or roughly three times faster to use an RTX card. I also did the same chart in hours, as you can see here. Uh, so if you like more, uh, again, a more visual representation of the data, then you have it here as well. So I also did the same experiment from going from 1080 to 4K. This was a 71 second clip. And again, um, we're talking just for 71 seconds, almost 37 minutes for the 1660, but that is cut down to about 10 minutes for a 3060, for an RTX 3060. So that's, so going, going down to the time in hours chart down here, uh, you can see that a 15 minute clip is gonna take you about eight hours for a 1660, or, but it's only cut to about two, little over two hours for a 3060. And again, to do a two hour movie, we're talking on the high end, almost 62 hours to complete a two hour movie with a 1660. Kind of came to some conclusions by looking at this data. If you're using a 1660 or a 1070 or a non-RTX non -RTX card, it's very, in, it's impractical. I would say to do anything over 30 minutes. I mean, you could do a 30 minute clip and yeah, you can leave it overnight, you know, and it'll take up most of, most of a day, but still it's sem somewhat doable. But if you have access to a 3060 card, which is the lowest end uh, RTX card that's available on the market right now, or you can buy an older 2060 card. Unfortunately, I don't have data on what that would, a 2060 card. I would imagine that would it be, uh, I would say it would probably be, I, I wouldn't say double, but I would say maybe 50% more. My guess is a 2060 would give you about, it would be about six hours to complete what a 3060 can do. I honestly thought that the that the gulf between the 3060 and the 2080 Super would be a little wider, but they're pretty much on par. And fortunately, the 3060 has been an easier card to get. If I actually got the one that I had. I was uh, I I went on the Newegg Shuffle for about a week or so, and I kept entering 
into basically all the cards and I eventually got chosen for a 3060 so it's possible it's not um, I wouldn't recommend paying scalper prices for one of these guys but I paid I think I paid with tax about five hundred seventeen dollars for the cards which I think is simple is reasonable because it's giving me almost the performance. Uh, it's giving me almost the performance of a 2080 Super, which I paid like seven hundred dollars for before this uh, before the cra this craziness of the of the uh, GPU market started. So um, I think it's a pretty good deal. Uh, so my conclusion is, uh, yeah, definitely get an RTX card. I think it looks like the 3060 is a good sweet spot. You're getting really good price, uh, good performance for the price given that it's only $500 and you know you can process a two hour movie overnight. You, even going from 1080 to 2160, if that's what you wanna do. Obviously, you can use uh, any of these cards for like shorter clips. I mean, I think it's, so, it's reasonable to process a two minute clip you want to make an older clip, you know, give it, you know, if you want to process a two, one, two, maybe two to five minute clip using these older cards, I think, you know, if you're willing to put in a couple of hours of wait, you know, waiting to wait two or three hours to get it done, if it means that much to you, yeah, totally. It's totally doable. But once you get into these higher clip lengths, like 30 minutes, it's just, I would say 30 minutes is like max. So I think these cards are definitely much more practical if you're going for if you're going from 480p to 1080p, pretty much the 1660 and 1070 are are are, are okay. Are, are are you know it's just it's bearable. So if you have a lot of footage that's 480p and you want to make it you know if you want to take it to HD, uh, any of these cards would do great, uh, do okay. Uh, obviously the RTX cards are much better, and you can do about th almost three times the amount of work that one of the 1660 or the 1070 can can handle in the same amount of time. So if you have access to an RTX card, it's, total, it's much better. And again, uh, this is the, I'm, I came up with the same charts for the 1080p to 2160, uh, if you wanna look at that too, if you want a more visual re representation of the data. And it, again, here's the time in hours, which kinda, you know, if you think in hours, and yeah, it's, uh, it's a long time. Uh, yeah, as you can see the right side of this graph here, for the RTX cards is much shorter and much more reasonable. If you're looking to go from 1080 to 2160, I would highly recommend RTX cards. It would be, uh, you you know, it would be uh, frustrating to say the least to use these cards to do this kind of workload. It's just not, it's not meant for it. It's not practical and it's not something I would recommend. So yeah, this is basically uh, my findings. Uh, RTX cards all the way for 1080p. If you want to stick with, if you want to stick with the you know DVD quality stuff, then yeah, I think the, I think any you know the 1660 1070 sound okay. Well, if you have any questions about what I just uh, showed you here about the all the G different GPUs that I use, or any questions about the methodology that I use to perform my tests, then feel free to leave them in the comments. Really helps the channel a lot if you can like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.